You want this, don't you? Well, you must be patient. Soon, very soon, Galaxy's Edge Star Wars Land will be rearing its head. I'm standing at the parking structure, looking downward. Okay, downward might not have been the appropriate terminology, more like crossword, but it is no puzzle as to why this will be as popular as it will be. You will be. And speaking of parking structures, the brand new one is coming along nicely. Oh man, that thing is impressive. Most impressed. Okay, I've used enough. I've used enough terms. So very futuristic. Not really sure what these sticks across the walk temporary walkway are though, however. At some point there will be a walkway going over the top of this road into downtown Disney. Driving speed is 35 miles an hour or less. Walking speed, you just as fast as you want. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. This is a monthly series of construction updates for Anaheim, California, the Disneyland Resort, where I just kind of wander around, starting at the structure, heading through downtown Disney into DCA, and then finally ending up at Disneyland proper. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? This episode, April 2019 edition. Looks as if something called Sugar Boo and Company is coming to this spot next to Starbucks. A sign for Black Tap Brewery is now being placed in its appropriate spot. They still haven't done anything with that little stand over there. It's still fenced off and not operate. Okay, I said I was gonna stop with the Star Wars quotes. Hey, So. Don't worry, Mickey. No matter how tough things may get, you just gotta believe in yourself. Push forward. Judging by that sound, the water is flowing. The rapids are back. This thing will definitely cool you down whether you want it or not. I know it's part of the theming and ambiance, but gosh, this thing needs a little bit of lubrication. Squeaky. Up, oh, there's some bubbles. Bubbles. This won't exist for too much longer. Very, very soon, no more smoking anywhere in the theme parks. You'll notice something missing up there. The silly symphony swings are under refurb. Pretty much the entire top portion is dismantled. You can see a little bit of the new attraction peeking up over there, the wall of the inside out area. See it there? Best I can tell, what I was just peeking at is this right here. There's a general overview, artistic rendition of what it's gonna look like. That's gonna be a lot of fun when it opens. 
Jesse's Critter Carousel is now fully going. Guests are able to board and go around at their leisure. And if you look closely, just wait for it. There's the loop of the Incredicoaster in the background. Nailed it. Don't do it, don't do it. Woo, that was close. We dang near fainted. This is so awesome. Love this little area back here. Gosh, this whole area is so empty. Can't predict the future, but soon it won't be. Most likely it won't be. Check it out, there's a big box covering part of the trolley track. In fact, they pushed this wall up considerably. There's not even a spot for the trolleys to get in and out anymore. Stark Industries is taking completely over. This kind of shows the angle of how far it protrudes out into the roadway. That certainly does look different. This little back corner, considerably different. Something definitely taking place here at the Sunset Showcase Theater. There's no more blue wall in this corner. It's all about Captain Marvel in this day and age. There goes the monorail, which can also be used as a transition into Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom. Just me or is something missing here? Yep, something is definitely missing from this picture. All the years I've been coming here, I've never seen the archway removed like this. So different. So weird when you get used to seeing something constantly and it's just suddenly gone. Everyone, everyone is amazed by it. Even the child behind me can, can't even tolerate it. Now, as far as I know, it's not going away permanently. They are gonna remove this and then eventually put it right back up there. The whole intention just to widen the walkways a bit. Make more room. Now most of these changes are happening very quickly because the opening of what you see off in the distance is looming very quickly. In fact, one of the entrances will be right behind this little area here. Yes siree, the crowds will be showing up by the boat load and car load and monorail load and, you know, public transit load aplenty. Whoa. Oh, that should put some fear in them. Looks like we're safe. They fired now. a warning shot. Bonanza Outfitters is open. You just can't access it from this side of Frontierland. There is an entry point tucked away right over in there, however. You can see it there through the through the crowd. And right here at the main entry point as well. Let's just embrace this empty view for now. This in just a couple months, it's not gonna be this way. Not a soul right here on this concrete, but that is soon to change. The first entry point to Galaxy's Edge was over in Critter Country. The one I just showed was the second, and this will be the third. Hello, stagecoach. Now I, oh, I was gonna say, if my calculations are correct, we will see the monorail and that horn announced it. The fountain in Toontown's getting a little TLC. No music being played out of that thing today. He loves to run and run and run and run. We meet again, Captain Hook. It's always good to see you, however, even though you're a scallywag and a problem starter. Isn't that what it is, a scallywag? You? You're not? He's not? No, no, no. I, I mean, sneeze a scallywag if anyone. He has I'm, an S in his name. I'm not using the correct terminology. I apologize. But I like the stash. Looking right. good, as what always. And the eyebrows. And the eyebrows. Do we look good? What do they call that on fleek? Oh, uh, honestly, that's the nicest thing anyone said to us today, Captain. Oh, dang. The rocket is completely covered in scaffolding now. Just take a look at that. 
Uh, there really is so much going on here, it's hard to keep up with all of it. Space Mountain is open, you just gotta look very closely for the entrance. This is good news, Astro Orbiter is being tested at the moment, even though there is a big wall up right here. That has to mean just one thing, soon it will be ready to roll. It's weird not seeing any people on it though. Always like this view from underneath the, the sorcerer's cap, looking up. It's almost like hypnotizing. Luckily, I'm not turning it like this, because if I was spinning it around like this, you might get hypnotized. And you do not want to get hypnotized by a sorcerer's hat. Unless it's Mickey's, though. If it's Mickey's, you know, it's remotely tolerable. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. This is very, very distracted by these these roots, these are very prominent roots down there. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. In the description box will be past episodes that I have done each month leading up to this one. So you can look back on the past. This is the current and down the road by subscribing you will be able to witness a fully armed and operational future. Lots of Star Wars <laughs> mentions in this video. I'll see you later. The vlog is over. Certainly some magic taking place here on Magic Way. Certainly is. to get back to the parking structure you got to go through this little corridor it's like a secret passageway of sorts one last thing at the start I mentioned I didn't really know what these wooden planks were for. Now I do. They're used to hold up the sides of this fence. Because if not, it would fall in that way and fall in that way if it weren't for these giving support.